Hey everybody, this is Paul Donahue with Advanced Digital Automotive Group and I brought this um, video to you today. It's how to get Google Business Profile to pay you profits. That's the whole purpose of it. Uh, your shop's online presence is a determining factor in the success of your business. Like I, I needed to tell you that, I'm sure you know it. But aside from building a company website, there are other things that you can do to establish your brand on the internet and to get your presence, your web presence paying you consistently. A Google Business Profile is a great avenue to let people know that your business exists and help pull in more revenues. Uh, getting in the local map pack or the local three pack as it's known, which are the top three shops that Google will choose and place them next to the map, and that's above the organic search results when a consumer does a search, is one of the fastest ways to increase your shop's revenues. Uh, Google Business Profile, it's, it's formally known as uh, Google My Business. Uh, it's a free tool that allows you to manage one or more locations from one dashboard. And this includes factors like your business name, location, hours, uh, uh, photos, videos, um, all of this you can upload. Uh, furthermore, Google Business Profile lets you monitor and reply to customer reviews that people leave for your business on Google. And this is worthy of your attention since survey after survey has proven that 90% of customers report that purchasing decisions are impacted by positive reviews. Uh, and for negative online reviews, that number was 86%. In other words, reviews matter big time. Uh, anyone can create a business profile, even if they're not the owner of the shop. So if you don't create one or have one created for you professionally by an agency that knows what they're doing, as only 5% of businesses have a fully optimized Google business profile, then any customer or competitor can go online and create your Google business listing. So once Google verifies that there's no duplicate, um, it creates a business profile for that specific location. Um, the Google business profile listing is open to all customers. They can leave reviews, ask and answer questions, and upload photos. Additionally, your listing will get more attention when Google crawls the web uh, when you're actively updating and posting on your Google business profile. Uh, Google posts are a way to share updates, offers, news about your business, um, you can use them to promote new products, services, announce sales, promotions, um, share upcoming events. Um, posts appear on your Google business profile and can attract more customers to your business. So the more active that you are on your Google business profile, uh, the more you will get noticed by Google. That's why we include Google business profile posting in all of our SEO growth programs. Well, less than 2% of shops take the time to put content up on their Google business profile on a consistent basis. And those 2% are probably hired an SEO company to do it because shop owners just don't have the time and the wherewithal to create relevant posts and post them. Uh, the positive side of this is it makes it very easy for you to get a leg up on your competitors by paying attention and consistently getting good content up on your profile because nobody else does it. Um, so how to claim a Google business listing? Uh, creating your business profile doesn't necessarily mean that you have complete control over your posted details. Um, you need to create a Google business profile account. You can easily access, manage, and edit your Google business profile through a listing through your account. Claiming your Google business profile on Google only takes a few quick steps, and this will give you complete control over the details that you could add in your profile. If you don't have a Google business listing claim, here's how to claim your Google business listing. Search for your business on Google Maps. Okay, so just go to Google Maps and search for your business. If you created a Google business profile listing of your business, um, you can click on the link in the confirmation email that was sent to you. Uh, if a listing already exists, just go to Google Maps and search for your business, and then to just click on claim this business, you'll see the menu options on the left side of the map. Uh, select claim this business and put in the information needed. Uh, from there, you can change the business name and any other erroneous details on your profile that may have been posted by other people. So uh, three, uh, be sure to complete all the fields and verify um, if the listing already exists and you're claiming it as your own, uh, there are verification uh, measures that you must follow. On the other hand, if you created it from scratch, it's easier to claim the business as yours. So uh, here are some simple um, uh, do's and don'ts in your Google business profile listing. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, you should pay attention to the things that you should and shouldn't do when creating your, your business profile. So knowing the do's and don'ts uh, helps guarantee getting, your, getting the most out of your business profile listing. Here are some of the things to keep in mind. Number one, don't put keywords in your business name. 
uh, it may be tempting to add a keyword um, um, or a specific location in your business name, but we suggest that you don't do it. Um, highly suggest. Uh, putting keywords will give you a boost from Google rankings uh, immediately, but it's also a black hat technique that will get your listing suspended and de-indexed from Google. Uh, you'll have to, you basically have to start all over again if you get uh, if you get de-indexed, and all of the reviews you received up to that point are gone. You'll never be able to get them back. Uh, do complete all the fields in the in the profile. Less than five percent of businesses have this done correctly. All the information in your Google Business Profile listing should be complete and accurate. Uh, the more information you provide, the more likely your profile will appear in search results when people you know, search for businesses like yours. Google uses the information to show the right results to users who search for the services your shop provides. Don't copy and paste information from your website and put it into the products and services categories on your profile. It needs to be custom well-written content that is rich in targeted keywords. This is the one place that you want to have the most searched for keywords people use to find your specific type of shop in your specific area. This is why most shops choose an agency to handle this because guessing what keywords to use can cost a lot of time and money. Uh, don't use fake locations when creating your Google Business Profile listing. Uh, Google has a clear set of website policies. The address you provide must exist and there should be personnel available during the indicated business hours. Using fake locations to make you look bigger will have your Google Business Profile account suspended. Uh, do not put the following, uh, a virtual office, a UPS store address, um, um, name of a more prominent location where your office isn't located, uh, an address with no staff available. Um, those are the four main ones. Um, do get reviews from your clients. Now reviews are part, I don't need to tell you about reviews. They're, they're an essential part of Google Business Profile. You, you got to encourage customers to leave reviews by providing ex excellent customer service and asking them to share their experiences. Respond to both positive and negative reviews to show that you care about your customers and value their feedback. This is very important. Um, a single positive review can turn your business around. The same goes for negative reviews. Don't hesitate to ask your customers uh, or to leave a review on Google after you've provided them a service. Better yet, use a review gathering platform. Research shows that shops using a, a review gathering platform are 300% more successful than shops that just randomly ask their customers, hey, can you leave a review? You know, five, do have a QR code at the bottom of your website that is a touch link on mobile uh, that will directly take people to your Google reviews. Uh, this is a simple trick that is very beneficial. We put a QR code on the bottom of all of our SEO clients' websites that provide an immediate link to their Google reviews. This QR code is also printable. Uh, it can be put in on the front counter, you can put it in the bathroom, you can put it in the customer waiting room, um, et cetera. You can put it just about anywhere. So um, if you want, go to northwestcollision.com um, or Destin Imports, D-E-S-T-I-N Imports.com. Uh, scroll down to the bottom uh, of the websites, you'll see the QR code in the footer there in the bottom. If you're on mobile, you can just touch the QR code and that'll instantly take you to the Google review. And if you're on your desktop or laptop, just use your phone's camera. Um, it'll immediately link you to the, to the review. Small changes like this are what add up over time to create more Google reviews and beat your competitors. Don't delay uploading photos of your business. For a successful uh, Google Business Profile listing, upload photos of your business. Um, if there are no photos, Google will use the Google Street View instead. Um, this can include uh, pictures of your um, products, services, staff, your shop's location, signs, um, um, any high quality photos that can make your business stand out and give potential customers a sense of what they can expect when they visit. You know, um, uh, it provides people with solid proof that your business exists uh, and people are very visual. Be sure to add photos consistently to your profile. The majority of shops that do a business profile throw up a couple of photos and never look at it again. That's not a good idea. Google notices changes to your digital presence. Uh, if you have the time to study them, there are a lot of videos on YouTube on how to create successful Google Business Profiles, so I'm not going to create another one. Um, if you don't have the time and are interested in having a, a successful agency that specializes in the automotive services and repair industry, uh, take care of it for you, then give us a call. 
Uh, finally, uh, use the Insights feature to track your performance on Google Business Profile. Uh, insights is your uh, metrics, it's your analytics. This uh, will tell you how many people are finding your profile, how they're finding it, what actions they're taking, such as visiting your website or requesting directions. Uh, it's very useful information to have. You have to look at those analytics every single month. Uh, use this data to optimize your profile and make informed decisions about your marketing strategy. You know, if you found this uh, video helpful, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Every like and subscribe is detected by Google's algorithms, helping to get this information to more shop owners just like you. Plus, uh, you'll be automatically notified of any videos that I post. Thanks and have a great day.